Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim. In today's video, we're just gonna do a quick small bathroom refresh. If you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button with the bell notification. I do have a bunch of other videos where I'm doing decluttering, redecorating, cleaning mostly. And if you like that kind of video, I would love for you guys to hang around and hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm just gonna do a cleaning and like a mini refresh of my bathroom. We have some company coming over, so I wanted to just get everything nice and clean. This is our only bathroom in the house, and it is a pretty small bathroom. We have a pretty small house, so small bathroom, small house. And I kind of just wanted to freshen things up a little bit. The shower liner that I had in here, it was honestly just kind of beat from having it for so long and bleaching it to try and keep it white. It's just starting to pretty much disintegrate. There was like spots in it where I could see through it. So I figured I'd grab a new liner. And while I was there, I grabbed a new shower curtain, which I just went with a plain white shower curtain. I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do color wise in my house. Um, for the longest time, I had more earth tones, like the browns, uh, greens, stuff like that. And I guess about six years ago, I kind of pivot and switch to the cooler tones with the grays and the blues, kind of what everybody was doing with the trends a few years back. And now I'm thinking I want to go a little more neutral again. And we did start in the laundry room. I recently got a new washer and dryer and we figured while everything was empty, I had my kids help me paint everything in there. It was kind of this like taupey rose color. Not really the color that I wanted. I don't know what happened when I picked the color, but when I got it home on the walls, wasn't really what I wanted, but I just lived with it for years. So I was like, I'm not repainting because in there it was just, you know, there was a lot of stuff in there and I have to move everything out and it's such a small space. I wasn't repainting, but uh, since everything was being kind of out of the way and removed, I figured let's paint. But right now I'm just gonna get into cleaning the bathroom and I'm gonna show you a few little hacks that I like to do with one, soap, and then two, for drying your hands after washing. So stay tuned for that, it's coming up in just a few seconds. I don't need nobody else but me. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I just need time right now. I'm going alone tonight. I don't need nobody else but me. So one of the things I like to do is make my own foaming soap. I will use this soft soap here, or you can use any of the big refillable soaps, and you mix half of the soap and then half of just warm water. Put it into one of the foam soap bottles and give it like a little shake. You don't want to shake it up too much because then it just gets too foamy. And you're going to get a lot more bottles of foam soap doing it this way. Like I know to buy each one of these foam soaps like $2.50 when you can buy the big refill bottle of regular hand soap for like $6 at Walmart. And then that will last you probably three months. I know for me, I've had that bottle for probably a month to two months now, and I'm only halfway through the bottle. And we go through a lot of soap. Then the next thing I like to do is I'll take paper towels. The paper towels I buy are the Selectasize ones. I just get the Sam's Club, their brand of paper towel. And then I'll do these little folds in them so that when people are over, they can just use a clean paper towel to dry their hands. You can get the Kleenex ones. Um, I can't really find them in my stores anymore. I don't know if they just don't sell them in my area anymore, but it used to be like a little pop-up Kleenex towel that you would use for drying your hands. But like I said, I can't find them. So I just figure I do it this way. There's some people that it, they kind of, I, and I get it, like you kind of get weird about using the same hand towel over and over again. Because honestly, it just, it does get like soaking wet at some point if you have a lot of people, especially. And I know for us, like one of my family members really is 
kind of squeamish about germs and stuff so I like to have that out for them so that way they know they're just getting a fresh paper towel that they can use when it's just the four of us here and it's just the family it's not a big deal I really don't put them out but when I do have people coming over I like to have that option for them now I'm just going to move on to cleaning this area here and I found a few new things to put the q-tips and the cotton rounds that I use to take my mascara off and our um, flossers. I found these on Timu. Timu? I think I'm pronouncing that right. I did a Timu order. Um, I got a few things that I needed for the house. I will say, and I hate to say this because I just got them, but I'm not quite sure about them. One, the container that I have for the cotton rounds is open on the one side, which I thought, oh, that'll be great. You know, easy to grab one of the cotton rounds when I want to take my makeup off. But then as I think about it, I'm like, it's constantly exposed to the bathroom. So maybe something that I might wind up putting into the medicine cabinet. And then the same thing with the, um, the floss picks that I have that's open as well. So that might be stuff that I put into the medicine cabinet instead, unless I can find something. The other containers that I had were sealed, but I just, like I said, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a refresh. The two containers didn't match each other. I just happened to find them and was like, yeah, this will work. Um, but I think I might be able to find something a little better. I'll be looking, I'll be on the, I'll be on the search for that. Now I'm moving over just to dust off this shelf and here's a reminder dust off the toilet paper holder <laughs> it's funny how much lint gets on this thing I know some toilet papers cause like a little more like more plush toilet papers usually leave a little more lint behind we use just the regular like Scott's brand because we have an older house so older pipes equal more plumbing issues when you try and use any of the plush fancy toilet paper so we go with the pretty basic ones enough toilet paper talk right now I'm just going to clean off the toilet I do want to wash the towels that I had hanging up here just because they've been up there for a little bit they're just for show everybody knows we're not allowed to use those towels they're strictly there so that you know I have white towels pretty much but nobody's allowed to touch them those are the show towels Okay guys, so I put the shower curtain up. I was able to get some of the wrinkles out. It looks a lot better. There's one kind of going across here, but that's okay. Um, I need to get the towels washed. This looks lower for some reason. I think I need to fix that. But anyway, clean this off. I'll light the candle later. Um, I do like to have a candle lit. And then I kind of just move it out here and have it lit for when people are here, just so it smells nice. And right now it just smells like bleach. I've got new uh, holders for my Q-tips, the toothpicks, and some cotton rounds that I use to take my mascara off. And then this is all cleaned, nice and neat. I showed you a little hack for this. 
Um, I like to just use regular soap and water and it gives you the same kind of foam. And then these, just paper towels that I like to fold so that people can use that to dry their hands once they wash their hands. Not everybody likes to use the hand towel because it does get kind of gross after a little while. So I just fold up some paper towels and put them there on a tray. The bottom one does get wet, but that's okay. And then I'll refill it as we need it. So that's the bathroom all done. Now I gotta work on some laundry. Conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down I wanna laugh out loud Talk a little deeper Before I do the towels, I wanted to just get this laundry done first. Nick came home from Thailand, so I just want to get all of his stuff washed and ready to go for him so he has all fresh, clean clothes. I was surprised at how much he was able to pack into just a carry-on and his personal item. He did... He did a pretty good job at limiting what he could take with them. We told him to take like extra socks and stuff because they were in their rainy season there. So just in case, you know, nobody wants to walk around with soggy feet. So we're going to get that done first and then I'll be able to get some towels done so that I can get those towels back into the bathroom for when everybody's coming over. Just trying to get everything put together, straightened up and nice and neat for everybody coming over. I will say... This is a little sneak peek to the laundry room. So far, all I found was that shelf. I know what I want, but I can't find it yet. It's like one of those things. I know what I had, like the vision in my head. I mean, honestly, the vision for the laundry room was front load washer and dryer with the big shelf on top, like the countertop on top of it. But that just, it wouldn't work no matter what configuration I tried. It just wouldn't work. So I had to go with the top load with what works in that space we have limited space so you kind of just you know you kind of go with the flow and just make it make it work so you know what there's a washer and dryer there and I'm happy about that because when you don't have one for a couple weeks it's uh it's quite the chore I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>